Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the sum, sumif, and sumifs functions in Excel. For the sake of this exercise, I have a random data set off to the left here where a company has 12 different cities, products sold in those cities, and the sales revenue that was generated. So first, we're going to start simple with the sum function. And all you have to do here, we're going to click in this sum box here and type in equals sum, S-U-M, open our parentheses, then highlight all the sales figures to the left here. Close our parentheses and hit enter. And you'll see the sum total of $4.7 million in sales. Next, the sum if function. And what the sum if function is going to do is it's going to sum all the sales given one criteria. So let's type in equals sum if, S-U-M-I-F. Open our parentheses. The range will be the same one, E4 to E15. And then if we add a comma, the criteria for this example, we'll do quotations greater than, and then type in 500,000, end our quotations and end our parentheses. And when we hit enter, this is going to sum all the sales generated just from cities that generated over $500,000. So hit enter, and you'll see 1.6 million. And then if we check this, that would include Chicago here, Boston, and Houston. And if you look at the bottom right of our screen here, you see that that is 1.6 million. So that's kind of the easier stuff, but the more fun part of this is the sum ifs function. The sum ifs function will use one or two different criteria, or even more, to sum a range. So for our first sum ifs in this box here, we're going to sum all of the sales generated by shirts. You see different products, shirts, pants, and hats, and we want the sum of shirt sales. So what we're going to do is type in equals sum ifs with an S at the end and open our parentheses. The sum range will be E4 to E15. That's what we'll be summing, comma. The criteria that we'll be using is D4 to D15, and then, comma, the criteria in quotations will be shirts. And then end our quotations and end our parentheses. So now this will sum all of the sales where the corresponding product was shirts. Hit enter, and you will see that we have shirt sales of 2.15 million. There's another way you can do this without typing in the word shirts, and I'm going to show you this here with shirts, pants, and hats. So let's type in equals sum ifs with an S again. Open our parentheses. The sum range will be the same, E4 to E15. Add a comma. Our criteria range will be the same, D4 to D15, comma. And then instead of typing in the word shirts and quotations here, I put the word off to the side here and we can just click on it in box or cell H12 and hit enter. And you'll see the same result as when we typed in the word shirts in quotations above. Now we want the same formula in the pants and hat cells, but we don't wanna to have to retype the formula every single time we do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into cell H12 and add some reference cells. So all you're gonna to have to do is go back into your formula and put a dollar sign before the number E4, the number, not before the E, just before the number four, before 15 and E15, before four and D4, before 15 and D15, and hit enter. Now, if we click back on this cell and we drag it down or copy it, we'll see that the references do not change except for the reference to shirts, pants, and hats. And just to check our work off to the side here, if we type in equals sum and then highlight the shirts, pants, and hats, close our parentheses, you'll see that the sum of the shirts, pants, and hats is the same as our original sum of all the sales. Okay, and now we're going to do one more thing where we sum all the shirts sold in Houston, Texas. So we're using two criteria now. And this is really great if you have a large data set with a ton of values. So I'm going to go back into these formulas that we just created up here. Doesn't matter which one because we already made the reference cells. We'll copy and then paste into here. 
And what you'll see displaying is the total shirt sales, but we want shirts sold in Houston, Texas. So what we're going to do is go back into this formula, and at the end here, we're going to add another comma, and you'll see that this creates a second criteria range. The second criteria range will be C4 to C15, the city. Then we add one more comma and select this cell I16 that says Houston, Texas, and hit enter. Now you'll see displayed all the shirts sold in Houston, Texas, and if we check, that is accurate, $581,500. And if you had an even larger data set with more criteria, you could keep going and going and going. All you would have to do is go back into the function, add a comma, and add criteria range 3, and so on and so forth. And those are the basics of the sum, sum if, and sum ifs functions. Hopefully that helped you out. These are some of the most common functions you're going to use in all of your spreadsheets. I use them all the time. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.